What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Jumaya's World. And right now, we're going to be talking about how you can get a free 90 overall legend in Madden 24 Ultimate Team right now. You're going to need to go ahead and do this right now. You're going to jump over to your live events, and you're going to find this in the compass. Now, there's a lot that goes into this, and some of you guys are going to already know a lot of what we're going to talk about right now. Sit back, relax, and see if you learn something new, though. Because what's going to happen is right now with the new release, as they release these objectives weekly, they make it very easy for you to get to certain parts in the field pass, but you don't really want to rush it. Okay, so what does that mean, right? If you look at this right here, um, level 27, you can actually get two of them. All right, so level 27, you get a free 90 overall legend champion. Last season, it was beautiful because we got that Cromartie that was limited, sold them for like 800K, and it was a beautiful thing. So this is actually very, very good for a lot of you guys that are just up and coming and trying to understand and learn the game. And, you know, I get a lot of, oh, my team is not good, and I'm playing a lot of stacked teams. Well, a lot of these people that have stacked teams, they play the game a lot. And they get a lot of what's in the field pass for free. Yeah, they spend money, but you also get a lot of free content. For instance, I just went back to using Justin Fields. He made me 700K right away because I sold my quarterback. He just made me 700K. And then I was trying out Joe Montana. I had Andrew Luck. Dude, right away, he just made me 700K. So when you figure out how the game actually works and what works for your offense, it can be very, very good. All right. So now look, this is where I am currently. Let me know how many, uh, how much XP you have, but at 1458, okay, which is like 110 more, we're going to get that free 90 overall legend. Now let's go over some of the numbers, right? Because we need 110. Obviously the daily is going to give you the 12, so we're not worried about that. But when you start going through these things, right, you see how it's like 26, 26, 26. They, look, Mutt Champs makes it very, very easy for you to do anything in the competitive field pass. So this is what's going to happen, right? We're going to grind through this today. And I'm going to want you guys to check back in with me and let me know if you're going to wait it out. Because I want to wait for the new legends that drop tomorrow before I actually get to that level. So now I have to actually watch it. See, this is where it gets a little bit more complex because you don't want to rush it. Every 90 overall that's available right now is probably not going to be good. Also, you're not going to have a chance at a limited. In that pack, you can pull a limited. So you want to wait until it's actually something that's live that makes sense for you to actually do it. So I would probably try to avoid getting all of this done once you get to a certain number and then just wait. And as soon as the new legends drop, you have a chance of getting the limited. All right. Now, what would I suggest? Solo battles gives you decent numbers, but the head to head gives you the least amount. So if you're somebody who likes to dabble in, you know, whatever you want to dabble a little bit. This might be where you want to dabble in head to head because they don't give you a lot because it's a reasoning behind that. What happens is the people that play this, you have so many different levels of modes that you can be in. So you can be a very, very low level player and like rookie, or you could be the highest level player at all Madden. Whatever you're on, right? Um, you can get all of these things done. It doesn't matter about the level. So they make this, you know, a little bit more less of XP that you get. So you can just dabble with completing this and not really worry about, you know, the Mutt Champs till it's time because Mutt Champs is just Mutt Champs. You're going to play dudes that don't care about anything and they're going to throw it right at your user. Then you guys are going to post, a, you know, you're going to hit me up on X like, yo, gee, I can't do it. Then I'm going to have to sit you down and be like, yo, bro, you can. And we, we always go through this, bro, because the mode is outrageous. But that's why you get so much out of it because it raises your blood pressure to unhealthy amounts. All right. So I would probably hold off. Right. Or you could do this. You can start this and then stop and then go to head to head seasons and just wait it out depending on what level you are uh, currently on. Now, also, I've been getting questions about buying levels. The buying of the levels are not available until like the mid season. So we're not there right now. Like, I don't know exactly when they're going to do it. But at some point very soon before they drop the next one, because like right now it ends in 28 days, it has to be a half of whatever the amount of days was when it started. So whenever this started, about halfway through is what the note said, that you'll be able to buy levels. If you're able to buy levels up until this point, like if you're behind, it may be worth it for that 90 overall. And we're going to go over some of the 90 overalls that are available right now to give you an assessment of it and make you understand. All right. Now, this guy right here at 53, that's also going to be a W. And at that point, the cards are going to be probably around 92. 
or something like that based on the way that everything is going with the overalls. So you have a chance of getting two, but right now we're focused on that one and you should be very, very close. If you've been subscribed to my channel and you've been checking in daily, I've been giving you guys a lot of tips and trying to help you guys get to that next level. All right, so now, why am I telling you guys to wait it out? Yo, G, I wanna do it right now. I want a 90 overall right now. This is what I'm looking for. You know, what's the deal, right? So when you go to the catalog and you go to the program and you go over to Legends, let's take a look at what's going on. Now, I know you go, yo, G, G, Patrick Willis, he's a limited. So he's no longer in packs. You can't get that card from that. But now when they drop the new limiteds tomorrow, you'll be eligible for that if you wait it out the way I'm trying to explain it now. Whatever limited is there, you'll have a chance at it. You can't get Patrick Willis, okay? It, it's just not gonna happen because he's a limited card, so you just have to wait it out. You could get Darrell Revis for 600. You're probably gonna get a Randall. You know what I'm saying? If you get Joe Montana, you're probably gonna get somewhere upwards of 600K. Tory Holt is garbage. If you get the right tackle, that might work also. You know what I'm saying? So these are the 90s that are available right now. Do you really wanna take a chance of only making 600 by getting Revis or Kennedy? The other card, you know, maybe Montana, but uh, these other cards are garbage. But Holt also is a limited, by the way. So you wouldn't be able to get him, but nobody wants him because he sucks. But Patrick Willis is like, dude, this card is outrageous because of how fast it is. And if you're on a Niner theme team, he absolutely goes insane. But again, with everything that's everything being considered, right, you should probably hold off and wait because that is all that's available. All right. Now, in the meantime, these are some of the other things that I would suggest, okay? With the other live events that are going on, make sure you're doing your most fear dailies because this also is something that's gonna contribute to you guys very, very soon because the milestones as you hit them, you're gonna start to get some really good stuff as you go along. Not only the XP, but you'll get a free player at the end as well. Or you could take the 2,000 treats, all right? I wouldn't go for B&Ds, so I would probably take the 2,000 treats there because realistically speaking, why are you taking B&Ds? Like I told everyone that watches my videos, do not buy BND packs at all. At the beginning of the year, when you're first starting out, you can get away with it because you're just trying to get your team competitive to go out there and play. But once the season starts and you've been grinding, do not feed into the BND crap because all it does is sit there and become useless for you. And you don't want that in your binder. All right, so just make sure you're doing these uh, daily objectives and you're focused in on the other things as well. Not only the competitive pass, because if you do things like going to like Monster Mayhem and stuff like that, you're gonna also be able to, you know, buy some time, you know, scoring field goals, you know, different things like that. You'll be able to avoid getting all that other XP. You know what I'm saying? Um, you can also do the trick or treat and things like that to kind of waste a little bit of time. But once you get close to it, guys, I would put yourself in a position right to make sure that you have a chance at a limited that's the only way that it logically makes sense and i just want you guys to eat bro i want you guys to pull the limited and hit me up and give me you know post to me on x like yo gee this is what i got you know and then you know that's what i want so i'm always going to put you guys in the right position to be successful all right let me know what you're thinking are you going to get that free 90 overall player are you right there are you waiting let me know give me the details i'm going to see you guys and girls next time you enjoy your day one love y'all